Hi scholars, uh, we're going to come back to factoring just really briefly. Uh, we noticed that in your work this week a lot of you when asked to factor a difference for example uh, were using a factor tree, right? Now factor trees are nice up to a point, however it turns out we don't really need them as much as we did anymore. So let's just take a look at a quick example here. For example, we were asked to factor the difference 25 minus 60 by finding a common factor. Now this student did a really nice first step. It said 25 was 5 times 5 and 60 is 12 times 5. Believe it or not, that's all we need to do, right? Because, for example, here there is a common factor of 5. The student found that, right? And from what we learned last week, if you have a common factor of 5, you can pull it out and whatever's left over, you keep. That would be a 5 minus a 12, right? And we're done with the problem. Now what this student did is he also said, well, you know what, I can take 60 and I can break it up into this final product here. 5 times 2 times 3 times 2. Now this is a prime factorization, right? So when you, it's called a prime factorization because all of those numbers are prime numbers, right? When you factor a number and get as far as you can, 5, 2, and 3 are all prime numbers. In this case, we don't need to go that far. All we need to do is find out what is a common factor. What do these two terms share, okay? So let's take a look real quick at this example. We just did this example. We said that this was 5 times 5 minus 12. And if I want to now factor 5x plus 60, I don't want to say 60, let me do my tree, 10 times 6, da, da, da. no, I don't want to do that, right? So in fact, let's just not do that. We don't want to do that. What we want to do, believe it or not, is look at our multiplication table 60 where 60 60 there it is right 60 is in fact 12 times 5 that's enough that's what we want to use here the fact that I know that 60 is 12 times 5 means I can factor this immediately as 5 X plus 12 you can double check it by distributing, right? Now let's factor 32 minus 8a. I'm not gonna break this up as two times two times two times two times two and have this nice long tree. I'm gonna say, what do 32 and eight have in common? They have a common factor of eight because 32 is eight times four. And notice I'm doing that by because of my multiplication tables. And 8a is eight times a, right? We can just pull the 8 out, that's called factor the 8 out, and what's left over is 4 minus a. And that's how you factor 32 minus 8a, that's your final answer. So it's fine to use the factor trees, but we don't have to go crazy with them, right? We can see, just to go back here to our original factor tree, we ended up getting that 60 was 5, student wrote 60, oh, was, just so we you know, can make some sense of this, wrote that 60 ended up being equal to 5 times 2 times 3 times 2. Now that's correct. However, when we need to find a common factor with 25, all we care about is the fact that 60 is 5 times something else, right? What is that thing? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. That's where we got the 12, right here, right? You don't have to go farther than that once you find the common factor.